this strange request, but perhaps you'll see fit to assist me. I know you seek the Merchant King's life, but there are others in this city just as cruel. Several shopkeepers in this district have taken to selling rotten meat. It's cheap for them to acquire, and they care little for the illness that it causes. Several children have already died as a result. We should not allow this injustice to continue. Would you be willing to put a stop to this? Hey! You look up to the infidels! I'll get you! saved untold lives. In return for your kindness, I'll give you a bit of information you might find useful. I overheard two of the Merchant King's servants this morning. It seems they've left some scaffolding just outside his personal quarters. You could use it to reach him that much quicker. He also knows it wasn't easy arranging a shipment like this. It's only wine. Some can be fickle in their faith. Your holy book says something on the subject, I believe. Leave them that they may eat and enjoy themselves, and that hope may beguile them, for they will soon know. And never did we destroy a town that had a term made known. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind it. Be about your business. As you wish. Safety and peace. You want information about the city, I suppose? Right now, I don't have time. I must find some flags which have been stolen from our cache in the rich district of Damask. But with this heat, my legs cannot carry me anymore. Would you be kind enough to help me? Return with the flags and I'll help you as best I can. Yeah, 
Thank you. The Rafiq will be happy to see these flags return. Perhaps this morsel of information will help you. I was invited by Abul to one of his lavish parties. I noticed the fountain in the middle of the Merchant King's palace could be easily climbed. Use this information wisely. Now, if you'd excuse me, I must go. Joy! Our days may be dark, but thanks to him, our evenings are now filled with light. The Merchant King provides for one and all. He asks for nothing in return. Let his generosity serve as an example to us all. Everyone should strive to be as he. in dying for him. His coin's not worth my life. A wise decision. What is it you want? I have business with the Merchant King. Ha! Huh? Good luck with that. He rarely leaves his chambers. Why? Is he afraid? Not fear. Hate. He hates himself as much as he hates the people he pretends to serve. Locks himself away in his personal quarters out of shame. He can't stay hidden forever. No. Those celebrations of his, he comes out to speak, to look down upon the people. A sense of belonging, I suppose, however brief. What's wrong with him that he would hide like this? <laughs> You'll see. Now let me go. Let you go? So you can tell him of my plan? I won't say a thing. No, you won't. Good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salahaddin's camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. But tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Then our business is concluded.
Altair, my friend, my brother. It's been such a long time. Any news of Ada since she left? No? How sad. I'm sure you'll find her someday. I've heard a feather is lying on top of Abul Nukud's head. Maybe I could help you. But I have a mission myself. I have four targets I must eliminate before noon. Let's cooperate, just like old times. Two for you, two for me? They are Abul Nukud's personal guards. You will spot them in minutes. Just a few coins, please. No, you don't understand. I have nothing. Please, money, please. Can't you spare something? I have many and things, thousands many things. of lives Too are lost things. in its defense. It seems a tragedy, but I say a this few is an coins. Honor. All I ask is for a few coins. Who wasn't that great? Just like in Alep, you remember? Here's something I found on one of the Merchant King's men. I think it's a map of where he has stationed his guards. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Anytime you're in Damascus, come see me. You know my door is always open to you. Safety and peace, my friend. Oh, yeah. 